Come on, look around. See NFTs, see TikTok. Think. All these big platforms. Normally, normally, caricatures are supposed to cajole a main subject. I mean, if you're a normal person, you, then you have a big head and a big tummy. You're supposed to cajole the main subject. But now it has turned out to be something a lot of people love. So I did a video the last time about caricatures, but it was in fast motion. So it was only for professionals. So I'm going to break down every single thing that happened there, here if that makes sense so stick to the rest of this video let's hit right to the intro okay so first of all when you have a picture it doesn't have to be painted if you want to learn how i did that for my one you can check my other videos but if not that's fine still the first thing you want to do is take out the background of that picture and i've done it already in my former video now the next thing i usually do is to take off the head now you want to separate the different parts of the body you take off the head like cut off the head then take off the torso and then take off the shoes you'll probably anyhow you want it to be there are different kind of caricatures they're the one with the big head they're the one with the big head and small tummy they're the one with the big body and small head anyhow it wants to be but you need to separate the different components so it will be easy to manipulate them so that's what i basically did now the reason i use the paint tool is because the paint tool is very very definite and it cuts out the different parts just the way you want it to like on like the magnetic lasso tool and the other so if you're new to photoshop you should try to learn how to use the pen tool it is going to help you a whole lot and then when i was done with that i took out the trouser I didn't like naked him i took out the trouser and the shoe i just wanted to make the both of them together and just give you this caricature that did not look very ridiculous you arrange it properly how you want it to be probably put it closer or however the next thing i did was to delete the previous one so after separating them i did the previous that we duplicated and made it smaller now to duplicate it is very easy you use ctrl j to duplicate a picture probably after selecting it now making the head bigger and making the leg bigger sometimes just makes the whole picture a caricature for me and i really don't like tweaking it so much to make it very weird so i just leave it like that if you have issues you can always check out other caricature pictures and see how they look probably check out how big their eyes are the nose and the mouth this will definitely help you to have a very good caricature reference now sometimes you think you are making caricatures but make things that are very stupid i'm sorry to say but yeah that's how it is now there's a way the shape of the head would be and it will not be very, very appealing to you talk more of a person now the next thing that you usually want to do when you're making caricatures is to go to the liquify you want to use the liquify brush to work on this this makes the whole picture pop up it doesn't look like very much now but when you use the liquefier on the eyes and to make the face different and to probably tweak the hair and to just work on different parts of the body you will notice that this part will now turn out very 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 dramatic and cartoonish you can also make the some parts of the body smaller like the shoe you can also make it smaller instead of going to the whole stress of cutting it out you can also make that smaller now the liquefy is very very good and you should be very careful not to make it too much you can also as well work on the liquefy density that one helps a whole lot you can keep tweaking keep tweaking the parameters how you want it and i'm sure you're going to come up with something very nice now when you're done you're left with a very plain background and a very different picture from how it was before now this is how it was before and this is how it is now now when you're done with that add a background add a drop shadow if it's a full picture if it's not a full picture just leave it add a very nice background to it and make it slick now adding drop shadow is another story altogether you can also check out other videos and if you want to learn how we did this you can check out other videos i didn't really teach this caricature in explicit details i mean like how to smudge paint it you can check out other videos where is it here or here i don't know but anyway it is you can check out other videos and if you, if you enjoyed this video please make sure to hit the thumbs up leave a like leave a comment and let's see you in the next video peace